The nightmare is over. After being kidnapped for eight months in Afghanistan, Father Alexis Prem Kumar is now free and back home with his family in India. His friends and colleagues with the Jesuit Refugee Service got a phone call with the good news. Shock, um, elation, um, it, there's been a lot of tension in the organization. You can imagine when somebody's kidnapped, um, it's not just the effect on the people who are closest, it's an effect the whole way through the organization. The details of his release are not being shared, but at least on one occasion, the captors did ask for a ransom. The Jesuit Refugee Service says the Indian and Afghan government played key roles in his release. The 47-year-old Jesuit priest was kidnapped back in June 2014 near the Afghan city of Herat, where he taught in a nearby school. Armed men with apparent ties to the Taliban began to threaten him. We know he tried to run and they grabbed him and they pushed him into a car. And that was when his nightmare uh, started. The scars that we won't know about are, are the ones which will be the psychological scars. The Jesuit Refugee Service operates in many war-torn countries, including Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria. Security was never overlooked, but Prem Kumar's kidnapping was a wake-up call. Since then, security training has increased all around, especially given the high tension in many Middle Eastern countries. To be able to read those signs when they're changing, we need to have better security mechanisms to provide our teams with the training, the procedures and the know-how that's needed to be able to save lives, not just their lives, but also the lives of the people that we're serving. Upon his arrival to the airport, Father Prem Kumar was asked about his eight-month ordeal. He said he's not ready to talk about the experience just yet, but he added he's just happy to be back home.